Hello everyone, Rurikana here once again with another session of Dark Souls. Doing the Miyazaki tribute run, and in the last episode we died at Capra Demon, which I have to say is probably not really that surprising. Now the problem is I do not like going through this particular zone slowly if all I want to do is Capra Demon. But I also can't do it fast because I'll die because I have no health. Like if I was not damn near an damn near one shotable, I would probably rush through this zone. The problem is with the current levels of vitality and the calamity ring and all that other good jazz dudes in here. Look at this dog. The dudes in here get pretty annoying. They'll backstab you, they'll nail your face. Okay, looks like I actually just lost all the souls I had. Cool. I think I had like 40... Was it 40,000? I don't know, I had a decent amount of souls before I died to the cavern, you know. Which just makes me realize that running around with a lot of souls in this build is something I need to not do. Hey dude, how's it hanging? But basically what they've done now is they've given me a reason to just rush through this thing because now I got nothing to lose. I got nothing to lose, so cue in the death montage. Probably by now you guys are going to be listening to some more Brad Sucks. And by the way, I'm actually recording this video before any of the, uh, any of the videos actually has hit YouTube, any of the previous ones. So it's probably a bad idea, I still don't know how you guys feel about this playthrough, if it's a good idea or not. But yeah, it's just going to be the way I'm going to roll through here, just like a boss. Here comes a dog, dodge left. Ooh, 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 ooh. So close. Oh, what the hell just happened? What? I was going through the gate. Okay, so we en ended up uh, basically doing it the uh, normal route and killing everyone in my way. Now I'm just kind of trying to bait the Capra Demon to go down so that I can kill the dogs. But he's just kind of stuck there. Doesn't seem like he actually wants to go down. Go downstairs, damn you, leave me alone. Thank you. Now I need to get rid of these dogs. Here's the other one. Fuck you, dog. And now it's time to basically burst the Capra Demon down. Oh shit, no, 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 don't do that! Oh, oh, oh that was so close. <laughs> it even confused me with what I was gonna do next. Okay, now we gotta be really, really cool about this. Good. Wait, wait. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Thank you very much, good sir. Thank you for your participation in the Miyazaki tribute run. Thank you very, very much, and goodbye. Did he actually drop anything? No. Oh. Well, I thought there was actually something there, but nope. My bad. My bad. Phew, am I happy that particular section is over? I mean, it's, it's funny because I, sp I lost my souls. Oh, crap. Because I was trying to boost through it. And as soon as I just took my time, it's like, okay, looks like you've taken your time now, we can let you through. Did he fell through the world? Damn it. He had an item. Who knows what that item could have been? 
Now we got 40,000 souls, so I'm pretty much getting ready to lose it all again because, I mean, it takes about 50,000 to actually level up. And I really don't feel like spending souls, so I'm going to be taking some chances and probably I'm going to be regretting it. But before we go down here, I want to open up the Firelink shortcut just in case I die, which will most likely happen. If I do die, I can just go to the Firelink Shrine. Oops. I can just go down to the Firelink Shrine and sort things out. I can also use my bow. I'll probably just go ahead and use my bow throughout this section, because I have a... What was it? Plus eight? Plus eight bow of awesomeness? I should probably make use of that. Let's see... Yeah, Divine Composite Bow, plus eight. Should make some use of that in the depths. I can probably take care of, uh, well, I'm, I might not be able to kill them, but I can take care of a couple of these hollows with arrows, can't I? Ooh, this ought to be interesting. It's like, it's not hard enough that you're gonna get one-shotted. Let's do a bow playthrough. Is this a composite bow? Yeah, it is. I thought I had the black bow of Paris because of all my dexterity and stuff. I guess I just went balls out damage instead. Because why the hell not? You always want to go balls out damage, let's be honest. Okay, now there's the dude there, and I know there are another one's going to come up behind me, so... I want to make sure we take care of these dudes properly, and not die like an idiot to friggin' dredglings. Good night. Pick up all the items, as usual, you guys know the way I roll. Oh, nobody chased me, huh? Good. Why don't you guys just let me go ahead and shoot this guy in the face? Boink! Oh, why you had to go down? I was gonna shoot you some more. Guess not. Wait a second, I can, like, do a shooting gallery in here, can't I? Like, look, there's another dude right there. Hello. Are you kidding me? I can't through... Oh, you can shoot through the windows, yeah. Just a little bit to the right there. Boing! Let's not waste our time like this, though, because, I mean, yeah, I want to play it safe, but not that safe. Stab you in the back, like a boss. What do we have here? Super Mario onto this fool. These fire dudes are very, very dangerous. You want to be extremely careful when handling, the, the, when handling these individuals. You can also shoot them in the face, that's always fun. Rurikon the Archer. Never gonna happen. Stab you in the face. There's another one right here. Look at him hiding. Look at you hiding. You silly little hollow. Or should I say silly little dredgling? Now, I don't actually need to save Pyro Bro, so I only really need to take care of one. Um. Holy crap, look at that! Hate these damn dogs. Crap, it's still alive. Oh, look at that rush you did to get me, huh? But as I was saying, I only really need to take care of one of these butchers, because there's no need to save Pyro, bro. Oh, there's a dog here, too, I forgot. Come here, doggy. He's a good little doggy. Fuck you, dog. Okay, you need to take some anger management lessons. This is lesson number one. Don't mess with Rurikon. Whoa! Gotta be careful with that attack, because that's unblockable. Don't want to have none of that, good sir. None of that! 49,000 souls, the stakes are rising. And I realize that there's probably going to be someone going to come up into the channel and say, Bro, I've lost a bazillion souls in PvP, but guess what? Those souls probably didn't have as much value to you as they do to me. Oh crap, he's still alive. Balls, I'm screwed. I'm screwed because he does a crap ton of stamina damage, that's why. You dirty rat! You killed my brother! You dirty rat! And you have my brother's humanity too. 
But now what we really want to do is we want to make sure we at least get to the bonfire. Because I think we've got just about enough souls to level up. So let's go ahead and try not to die in the rats. If we could go ahead and do that, that'd be cool. Here comes Basilisk. No cursey cursey. Thank you. I'm really not interested in your curses. This is one of the reasons why I chose this sword for this particular playthrough. Not only it does a ton of damage, it also... Um, it also has a really good fallback attack, so to speak. It's that reach. It's all about their reach, really. Uh, 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 uh. I gotta be really careful. I can't even get close to these dudes. Because some monsters have some unpredict unpredictable movements, like the rats sometimes. They'll just catch you off guard and nail your face. And I want to try to avoid dying to some of that stuff. Also, I am probably not going to take the normal route through Blighttown, because that's just asking for getting killed. I'm probably just going to go back to Firelink and go to Blighttown from there. Look at this bastard. You asshead. Trying to prevent me from getting to the damn bonfire. I even got a, I even got a humanity for that. Pretty sweet. Looks like we didn't kindle this one all the way. Then again, we did. Like, again, what does it matter if I kindle? If I take enough hits, I'm just gonna up and die anyways. Uh, can we level up? Almost, but I will be using a soul for this one. Because I'm pretty damn close. Pretty damn close to the level up. So, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we got 40 Endurance, 40 Dexterity, 40 Faith. Which means now it's time to start laying it on Attunement. Attunement all the way to 19, and then I'll start leveling Vitality. Because, like I said, I want to use this character for other things than just this playthrough. Good old Miyazaki, man. What an amazing guy. <sighs> so now I guess it's gaping dragon time. We will be killing the Chandler, of course, because, I mean, like I said, safest possible way. Gonna do a lot of things the safe way, the safe, easy, and sure thing way. It's just gonna have to be the way this thing works. And I'm and I'm I keep on thinking sometimes that I'm not even sure if I will be able to finish this playthrough because it might just get a little bit too frustrating. Oh wait, what the hell am I doing? I must be going crazy. I'm just like, oh I'm what am I doing? I'm gonna go ahead and kill the gaping dragon. Yeah, because I'm badass like that. Uh, this is what we need to do right here. Hello, good sir. No, wait, don't move. Stop, stop, don't go away. God damn it, are you kidding me? That's it, turn around, you prick. You will eat an arrow to the face, see what I mean? Right in the eye, and you got six of them, so... Boing! This is the easy way to get rid of the Chandler, if you don't want to go all the way and kill him. That's it, you do your little victory dance, you idiot. I'll just nail you chuck full of arrows. Boing, one more. Okay, actually two more then. In the face! In the face! Arrow to the face, good sir. Also something I forgot to mention on the first couple of episodes, because I guess... A lot of people are wondering um, what's up with uh, me and Pally time when we're going to team up again to do some Dark Souls. And like I said in the first episode, uh, we were planning on doing this particular playthrough together, but at kind of like when we were getting ready to record, I said, look, this is probably a really bad idea because we're going to be dying a whole lot. And you guys know how it is. I mean, dying and then... One of us dies, and then we have to stop, go back, we summon. Then one of us dies, like the other one. And then we have to stop, go back, we summon. You know, it, 
it would be really annoying. And I realize that you guys want to see people die. I really do realize that. But you also need to realize that it actually gets boring. Okay? If you guys think that watching someone die over and over again is the perfect idea of entertainment, trust me, it's not. Oh no, I've messed up. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot an arrow to your tail. God damn it, I've messed it up. Uh, I'm probably gonna die for this. Maybe not. Okay, maybe I won't. Let's actually just dodge this way. Are you gonna charge? Thank you. Now let's see if we can do something about this tail. Oh, that was tasty! I like that. The double swing tail chop. That's it. Put your head down. Put your hand up in the air. Put your head... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. One more dodge. Atta boy. Let's heal up, because you never know what might happen. Now let's just really nail his ass. Like I said, one of the things about this build is that it does an extreme amount of damage in a short amount of time. You son of a bitch. You scumbag, you douchebag, you... Because I knew what the animation was, I knew what he was doing, I just never thought that, like, I'm in the exact opposite leg that he's gonna use. He's not gonna reach me. Oh no. It seems that thing is one nasty ass AoE. I've. Uh, when you're so close to get the kill, that's when you want to risk it all for the kill, you know? Go down in the blaze of glory and. God damn it. I can't believe I actually died there. Such a stupid way to go, too. Well, the thing is, right now, there really is nothing in my way apart from this stupid rat. Oh, you're kidding me. What the fuck? No, ri <laughs> Oh my god. This build is gonna burn me out of Dark Souls forever. It's like, I'm gonna do this build, or not, or not finish it, and by the time I'm done I'm gonna be like, I never wanna play Dark Souls again! <laughs> Stupid fucking rats. You gotta be kidding me. A goddamn rat. Not really, a rat. Fuck you. All because I'm like, no, I'm just gonna rush through here, kill this rat like it's nothing, and then the rat's like, oh, let me just take a couple of chunks out of your health. Oh my god. Okay. Let's just be sure we're maxed out. And I'm gonna go into it fully power within and Dark Moon Bladed. And let's get in here. Oh, I don't want to watch the cinematic again. We've watched it once. It was quite enough. One thousand four hundred. That was pretty sweet. Let's do the two swing tail chop, shall we? Done charging yet? Thank you. Oh, you didn't like that, did you? That's a damn shame. I, I have to say I rather enjoyed it. Trying to swing at me with that friggin' stomp you got there for a tail? Come on, throw that head down. Be a boss. a boy. That's exactly what we wanted. So I can smack your peasy little ass head. Uh-oh, this was a pretty tight squeeze. Okay, it's all good. And let's two-hand it for the finale. Stick this sword up your goddamn scrotum! Oh, speaking of which, did I even get my souls back? Where the hell did I die? Oh, never mind! I died to the rat! I actually lost 6,000 souls in the humanity to the to a friggin' rat. And then you guys wonder why I say, Oh, you dirty rat, you killed my brother. You dirty rat. Ah, damn it. 
Well, 75,000 souls, that's going to get us another level. Uh, and I'm actually going to go back to Firelink because I really, really don't feel like doing uh, the standard way of... Uh, the standard way of Blighttown. I mean, should I do it? I'm just thinking about it. Should I really go ahead and try and do it? It's such a bad idea. I really don't want to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I really, really don't want to do that. It's just... It's not going to be fun at all. And there needs to be some degree of fun when you're playing a video game. Ah, what the fuck? Let's do it. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. So now we should have another attunement slot, and this would actually allow me to... Equip the Great Lightning Spear! So that I can shoot people in the face with lightning. Because I heard that's a thing. Hello? No, none of that. Get out of my face. You disgust me, good sir. You disgust me. Okay, going into Blight Town. Not feeling very confident about that. Mostly because of the toxic guys, I'll be honest. Toxic guys is the thing that concerns me the most in Blight Town, because I can usually get through the regular ones without much of a problem, but the toxic guys are usually my demise, especially with the Calamity Ring. Because, I mean, if I can take a couple of hits going through the upper section of Blight Town, it's not really a problem. But in a one shot build, Ah, just not feeling it. Hello. Get your ass down there. Boop. Enjoy the ride down, fat boy. Did I aggro both of them? No, I aggroed one. One of them, okay. Come at me, homie. What you got? You got that sweet looking mace. You got the bam bam stick. That's Pally Times terminology right there. The Bam Bam Stick. Swinging at me with... Oh. Ooh. When I saw that second swing, I was like, Oh, am I close? Am I too close? Whew. Okay, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Look at him swinging that Bam Bam Stick. Not interested, Holmes. Not interested at all. But like I was saying before, um, during the Gaping Dragon, I think. I'm not sure I completed it. Um, me and Palatine, we're planning on doing this, um, together, but we decided not to as we were about to record it, because it would be extremely frustrating. So instead, Palatine's working on another series on his channel right now in regards to Dark Souls, and it is a new player guide series, so... If any of you guys know people that are starting to get into Dark Souls, you might want to go ahead and check out his channel in regards to that, because he's going to start... I mean, I've done new player guides on mine as well, but he's going to do it uh, more structurally. Like, I did new player guides by doing walkthroughs, pretty much, and telling people, here's what you should do when you get to this area, here's what you should do when you get to this one. Um, he's trying to do it I mean, in a more structured manner, like giving tips and whatnot, the stuff that you can do to make your life easier. And um, I'm actually going to be trying to help him out to, you know, to really nail stuff like, for instance, uh, how some people should go ahead and do the law track, um, the law track event where you actually go and invade him in Arlando, do all that stuff, simply because it's, it's a part of the story that you should experience and it's cool. So that's going to be one of the things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, nice, it is. Oh, no! You guys have no idea how close that just was. Or maybe you do, but I... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Whew. That was close as close can be. Whew. Hooey. Okay, we got it. We got it, guys. No problem. We got this. Now, did I actually bring the Ring of the Firstborn, I wonder? I thought there was a guy coming up here to kill me. Guess not. Now, I am going to be going this way, simply because we have trouble doing jumps. Actually, let me see if I can... Ah, uh, 
Ah, someone actually said in one of my videos, and this is a really good tip. If you're using, um, if you're using Dark Souls Fix, DS Fix, uh, to get the 60 frames a second, and you press backspace, it will switch you back down to 30 frames a second. So that's actually really, really useful for when you want to do jumps and whatnot, because the 60 frames a second thing kind of breaks the jumps and rolls of Dark Souls. So it's good to know, despite the fact that I've already done the, um, what's the name of that, uh, the demon, the stray demon, despite the fact that I've already done that, it's good to know that from henceforth, whenever I want to go to the Northern Undead Asylum, I can just press backspace and roll into it. Like for instance, right here, there's a little bit of a jump and I'm going to turn down the frames and I'm going to jump on down. Yeah, that that is that actually goes a lot further than regular. No way, dog. Look at those darts just coming through. Just coming on through. Kill this dog. Ooh, the darts still haven't gotten to me. Let's backstab this guy. Hopefully out of the cliff. No, darts still haven't gotten to me. Damn it! He got me with one dart. Oh no. Oh no. Block that one. Good, good, good job, good job. Let's kick this guy and get the hell out of dodge. I'm actually going to rest at the bonfire because I'm probably going to die on my way down. Is he after me? He is after me, the bastard. What the frack do you want, good sir? Get the hell out of my face. Just get the hell out of my face, dude. Like, don't even try, you fucking try hard. Okay, now let's move on. Let's see how we progress through Blight Town. But yeah, so he's gonna be do uh, Pally Time's gonna be doing some new player guides. You guys might want to be checking that out. I'm gonna be giving him some um, some pointers on some things. And I'm dead. One bite from a fucking dog. One bite. Um. So yeah, that's that's a thing. And I'm just completely, fully focused on the game right now. This this is a playthrough that is actually quite hard to commentate. I have to say, it is most definitely not my best commentary. Holy crap, I don't want to get hit by that. And the reason it's not my best commentary is simply because it involves way too much focus. Way too much focus. Let's move on. See what we can do here. Oh, 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 Stab you. And stab you. That was kind of risky. I kind of took that one a little bit too close. Backstab this individual. Move on down. Move on down through Blight Town. Yeah. Oh, god damn you. God damn the guy that's shooting those friggin' blow darts. I hate these guys. Like I said, they're one of the things that concerns me the most in this particular playthrough. Come on up. Let's have some fun. We'll have a party. I'll stab you in the ass. Good night. All I hear is friggin' blow darts being shot. Oh no, that's a grab. Ooh. So close and yet so far. Okay, two of these guys are down. No, 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 don't mount. Take the item. Damn it. That dodge. I did not do that dodge, but whatever. I can actually go and get a second power within. I don't really need it. And it's probably a really bad idea because there's a blow dart guy up here. But... I don't know, I just kind of always feel like killing that big leech thing on top. Look at him pushing me, trying to push me off the cliff, you prick. Scumbag. Oh, I'm just gonna push Rurikon off this cliff. It'd be so awesome, I'm pretty sure everyone will get, will get a kick out of that on YouTube. <laughs> Scumbags. That was not intended at all. As a matter of fact, it seems to do less damage than the regular one. Not less damage, but it's interesting that my jumping attack actually makes 429 when the normal attack makes 421. It's like, 
There is really no reason with this build to leave your shield out, I don't think. It's just look, just stab things. I hate the sounds this thing makes. It makes a terrible sound like oh, oh, oh damn it. That toxic That toxic and I'm not talking about Britney Spears. Oh crap. Oh you son of a bitch. Oh my god. He just straight up pushed me off the cliff. Thanks a lot for that, my friend. Thanks a lot. You are mighty kind. Now I have to deal with all of this crap all over again. Now the good point is that at least there's not a blow dart guy blowing here. Oh sweet, thanks. Thanks for that. And there goes 40,000 souls. You see why I didn't want it to come down here? Because <sighs> you have to play so carefully that everything leads into a death montage. God damn it. Well, now I got nothing to lose, so fuck all of it. Well, I actually do have something to lose. Time, I guess. Oh no, oof. For a second there I forgot where I was. Hey, look at what you did. I got nothing to lose now, you prick. No, thank you. Don't give a damn. I'm actually gonna be going down. Going deeper on the ground. I'm going... I'm going deeper on the ground. Uh, I believe it's over here. Uh, the problem here is that we also have the dudes that spew fire. Let go of me. Drop down like the little bitch you are, because I am the boss of this stair right here. Now get stabbed in the ass like you deserve and die. Thank you. I knew there was something else here. I knew it. I could hear you trying to come and get me. You got. What the balls? The hell is this? The Blight Town Party? Are you kidding me? These guys were actually able to jump down, survive and come to get me. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. And there's a mosquito jamming me, thank you. You friggin' mosquito almost got me killed. Look at the damage a friggin' mosquito does! It's retarded! <laughs> 